for generations. This peaceful island has been home to our family. But beyond our reef, a great danger is coming. Now, we see a lot of movies that have had water in it before, but this movie is around water all the time. I mean, what, what is one of the hardest things, first of all, just about basically building water, but through effects? One of the things we knew about is that we were gonna be out there on the water with our characters out on the open ocean all the time. Uh, we knew that the existing solutions that were out there on the market weren't exactly what we were gonna be looking for to achieve the results we wanted, so we developed our own simulation engine called Splash. What we found is there's certainly a limitation on what you can simulate or calculate on any given computer, even if you build a big monster machine. So they explored distributed computing, allowing our simulation engine to run across multiple machines, thinking all about the same problem, and essentially, you know, supercomputer style. Here's an example, you can see just this one wave breaking over probably, you know, 75 or 100 yards, and just that you can imagine that this isn't tens or hundreds of millions of particles, this is billions of particles being calculated all at the same time. Here you can see how we cut out a piece of the water and that area is simulated and affected by the boat's motion. Outside of that, the general mathematical equations for how an open ocean looks are reasonably well known. So we knew that we could get good looking results there. But then the challenge became, how do we blend those two regions together and really what needed to be a seamless way? So here we see just sort of a graphic depiction of what that is. When we started to get that together, this is going on back about a year ago, we started to see some promising results as we tied in that simulated region into the broader ocean. If you look carefully at this, you can see on the left-hand side, there's kind of a seam back there uh, where there, there's a slight discontinuity between our simulation and the open ocean. Um, this is a test a couple months after that. We're getting more promising results. We're starting to art direct the water to our liking. We, we certainly want to evoke that incredible feeling of the South Pacific um, and, and what that, that water makes you think of. Um, this is an early test. You can see Moana kind of bobbing up and down, not entirely in, in sync with the boat, but we were really uh, encouraged by what we we're getting from the water itself. I am Hero a of Men. What? It's actually Maui shapeshifter, demigod of the wind and sea, Hero of Men. I interrupted from the top, Hero of Men. Go. So every time we weren't on the open ocean, we tended to be on an island. When we were, when we were on an island, we tended to be on the shoreline. You see the sand getting wet. You see as the water recedes, the dampness gets absorbed back into the sand. All these things you experience every time you go to the beach, but you don't really think about them. So we always want control. So we have to provide our artists in effects and lighting with many, many levels of control so that we can balance out the colors, we can balance out the movement of the water in a way that is gonna give us the exact effect we're all looking for. So this, these various colors here represent those different mats and so forth that we have control over individually when it comes to tuning a final shot. So here you see a few different types of splashes. And we also have things like water spouts. And here's a shot created from the foundation <laughs> effects where Maui's getting tormented by the ocean. And the only thing created by the effects artist is just the splashes coming off of Maui because the water spouts themselves are just part of this foundation effects library. Super effective for the movie and really allowed us to add incredible production value to much of the movie in, in a very straightforward way. And again, focus on the really, really big effects. Like, oh, hockey, 